Hello. <laughs> yes, I have the same thing on this week that I did last week, but that's okay because it's clean. <laughs> and I just wanted to point out that I, I do have our Adiranda earrings and I've got our Adiranda pendants. We don't have very many more of the pendants left, maybe one or two, but we've got several sets of earrings. So if you have a pendant and would like a set of earrings to match your pendant, uh, they are available in our store. But that's not what I wanted to talk with you about today. What I wanted to talk with you about today is our guest this week uh, on the uh, 111, um, which I think it might have already happened. I'm not sure. Um, so um, Michael Brown of The Presence Process, these are two of his books. They were written five years apart. And you can see that I've got them well used and well marked up. But you see, there's a difference in the cover of the book. One is a journey into the present moment awareness. And one is a journey into present moment awareness. The revised edition, this one, and then the original edition, this one. And I just want to show you a little bit of a difference that happened to him in five years. Now, I love this version. I love both versions, but you have to find out what works the best for you. You see his picture there. And that's Michael Brown, that he was living, he was born in South Africa, and he's now living back in South Africa. I don't know where he was living when he wrote this original version of the book in 2005, but <clears throat> it has, it taught me the value of stillness. It taught me, it's a 10-week program, and honestly, I couldn't get through the first part of it. I, it was just a little too tedious for me, so I actually started with the chapter right before week one. I don't necessarily recommend that, but if you have trouble with the first half of the book, start in the middle and then go back and do the first half. But <laughs> uh, I, it, it was one of those things that, that helped me understand that the person that I thought was triggering me, which was really them triggering me, they were just the messenger, uh, really was about me becoming me and being present with me. Now, five years later, this was his picture, which if you watched him on the double digit, um, that's the person that you saw. Now, this was written in 2010. And it, it is not quite as strict in its information, not quite as pedantic. I'm not even sure if I'm using that word right, but I like the word. Um, in, his, in his energy, in the first book, you were to meditate for 15 minutes twice a day and read one chapter every day. You know, I actually needed that because I have a difficult time reading because I don't know if my mind wanders or whatever. Anyway, I liked reading the same thing every day and it kind of got it clarified into the cells of my body. Um, the second one, you breathe into a mantra, which is I am here now in this. And each breath, you take it I, breathing in, am, breathing out, here, breathing in, now breathing out, in, breathing in, this, breathing out. And then you start again. You know, I found that that was quite helpful when I was having a difficult time being still. Was I, And I still always go back to that meditation. I am here now in this. And I've changed it a bit. And, you know, sometimes I do I am. Sometimes I do lots of different things. But... I just wanted to share with you that message from Michael Brown and see if it helps you. Alrighty. Well, I got to run. Namaste, y'all.